who was really the spark plug forward for a number of years with the Tampa Bay Rowdies. On to Indy 11 last year and has moved into a wingback role to an extent here with the switchbacks. Chip forward. He's going to hang up on the turf, but find Beckford anyways. Beckford a blast. Handled by Michael Nelson. The youngsters and Nate Worth and Chris Pearson that can also be moved into those positions. And the overall argument for Sandor and FC Tulsa is no longer. What does our 11 look like? They're pushing 20. <laughs> Beckford, that's impressive. We just touched away with Tejada waiting. It'll be Williams on the reserve. Second effort better than the first. And struck on the line right at Nelson. That was Scundrich, who's just hanging around. But there's plenty of real estate to step in there if you're Romario Williams. Eventually, you're going to have to make Michael Nelson start working for this. It's much too easy for the goalkeeper. For as much as the ball they've had, the quality of opportunity, they've got to challenge him. Wow. Romario Williams stops, start, and eventually right at Nelson. Go. Very thin in nature, hard to run on. Beckford, Foster returns, Beckford! Finally, something to get the fans off their seats here. There's no argument from Deshane Beckford, but check the run by Malik Foster. Coming all the way from the left-hand side. If you're Rucci or you're Rashid Tete, you don't recognize the fact that 99 is on the back shoulder. Drag runners with you, and the secondary ball back through. That's all the space. That's the strike to the far post, and almost the open. Hisense is the presenting partner of the USL Summer Showcase and provider of high-performance televisions and appliances. And bringing an incredible sweepstakes to USL fans. Enter for a chance to upgrade your game day experience with an epic 85-inch 4K QLED Smart Google TV. Scan that QR code displayed on your screen. A chance to take home the stunning 85-inch 4K QLED Smart Google TV from Hisense. Less talk. More TV. Cut back at the end line. Off the post. Off both posts. And in. Yosef, a tremendous goal for Tulsa. And they've opened the scoring shortly before halftime. I am lonesome a ton, but they haven't been able to find a way to take advantage of it. Notice the quick cut to the end line. It was always going to be about what can you do once you get it back onto that right foot? How do you create if you're not going in transition? And for Milo Yosef, it's all about this beautiful vision and the recognition that the second that he brings it back across to Skundrich, using the momentum to his advantage, Skundrich gets too far out in front, gets his hips closed off, Yosef back across into the top corner. There is halftime. Well, Tulsa didn't have more of the ball. They didn't necessarily have more opportunities, but Colorado Springs not clinical. Moving into the final third, creating numbers up top to your advantage, or you have to convolute the argument from the central locations and attack the middle of the field. Advantage play, good ball forward, it's Dyer. Ball drops down to Bird. Good save, Kuzminski sliding off his line. Followed by from Mario Williams. Beckford spins inside of Yosef. Got an inadvertent return. Beckford crossing header, smash down. Somehow did not go for Tejada. Great that you can add layers to this attack going forward, but as much as we saw at Deshane Beckford in the first half, we did not see that replicated on the left-hand flank by Juan Tejada. Great little back shoulder run. He recognizes the fact that Eric Bird has come really deep to go 2v1 on that diagonal run from Malik Foster. That <laughs> shave a couple off. Makes it easier on me, right, in theory? <laughs> Just harder on me for clipping three teams out of the equation. I would probably say six, three from each, to be honest. McGee. McGee leaves it off. Speedy Williams blasts it over the bar. McGee. McGee this time. Bouncing at Nelson. Figure out. That's Bobby Dooley, by the way, general manager of Phoenix Rising, how to get Devin and Mike off 
off air next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one agenda for those two guys. Now incredible work from the two brothers that really got Phoenix headed in the right direction a couple years past. Yosef for Apps. Apps! Is Minsky. And of course, Sam Dorr, number one, day one employee from San Antonio FC. They get their first star last year. Yosef, header from the near post. And Apps didn't miss that by much. Elberg comes in as well. That's it for Speedy Williams. They'll try and get a few more attacking pieces in here. These are the last available subs for Colorado Springs. Well, that's going to move Echeverria down underneath. What does the ambition look like for Aaron Wheeler? Certainly not lacking. He just pulled me inside today. You like this? Yeah. yeah it's not bad, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't sleep. Appetite's a little off at times, but I love it. <laughs> McGee, Foster slipping ahead. Beckford reverts back to Foster. Foster, ball ripped out of the air and in! Jonas Fjellberg's first touch of the game is a master class! 1 1. Still has to be better. Watch the half turn or lack thereof. Foster, if he touches this thing out in front, he can get it on the left peg and bury it himself. But the poor touch leads to a recycled opportunity that is very smart. It's Foster, the vision. As full time arrives, the 2023 USL Summer Showcase presented by Hisense culminates with Colorado Springs and FC Tulsa playing to a 1 1 draw.